let's let's talk a little bit about race day, race mm-hmm. day prep. Uh, if your training has gone well, if your nutrition while training has gone well to recover, you're coming into race day. Tell us about uh, the, from the time when you wake up until the gun goes off. Yeah. What uh, what what do you have for breakfast? Uh, any kind of considerations there? Yeah. So I, you know, just just like you have to work backwards when you have a goal. Uh, the day before a race or the days leading up to the race, you gotta look at you know what time is the race at and then kind of work backwards from there so um and that's you know something we faced last year when we were racing all the time was you know sometimes we were racing at 9 a.m sometimes we're racing at noon sometimes we were racing at eight o'clock at night um so and so each require a different uh, requires a different strategy um but it follows the same kind of principles uh as far as you know whatever your race time is you want to try to eat an hour like two to three hours have a meal two to three hours beforehand um so i always just work back from there so if uh if ra- the race is at noon um i might just try to eat a late breakfast like a large late breakfast um around nine o'clock nine thirty. um but if the race is at nine uh just try to eat an early large breakfast but if you know you're racing uh at night eight o'clock you know have an early dinner around five o'clock and then you kind of work back from there and be like okay i want to have you know lunch at noon or so maybe a snack midday um and then have you know regular breakfast um but making sure that you're going to be able to put in a full meal at five o'clock um so that you're topped off by the time the race comes around um Mm -hmm. is important and it's it's surprisingly not easy to do and so you know taking notes on how you felt like how you ate throughout the day and how you felt at race time is important because you're gonna end up racing again at eight o'clock you're gonna end up racing again at four or whatever so um having some information on how you felt and what you ate um, is invaluable as far as you know getting a little bit better every time at doing it right I think for a lot of us and correct me if I'm wrong I find that a lot of races are usually before noon um, so if they're before noon let's assume that you're either having like a breakfast or a brunch mm-hmm. what are your go-to breakfasts before a race um, I oatmeal um, one it's cheap <laughs> And, and so you can eat a lot of it for next, well, next to nothing. Um, so yeah, I'd make a lot of oatmeal. I'll put some peanut butter, um, and fresh fruit in there. Um, some seeds, nuts, um, and, uh, really I'll, I'll just try to eat as, as much as I can. Um, and you know, you don't have to, not something you just try to stuff down your throat, but just you know, take your time and over the course of, you know, 20, 30 minutes, just try to eat as much as you can and, and then let your body process it over the course of the next couple hours before race starts. And then you always have, you know, carry a snack with you so that, you know, when you're in that hour before the race and you start to get a little nervous and you're like, Oh, I might be hungry. It's like, okay, I have a banana or two in my bag that I can eat. Um, and that way you're not dipping into your, uh, the food you brought for the race to eat during the race. Um, that you know you've got enough to make it through the day so always have a little extra on hand um yeah just in case (laughs)